Hello and welcome back to another mount video showcase with me Mioni for Final Fantasy XIV. This time I'm very happy to show you something that I've pretty much been working on for just under two years now and that's the Stormblood Extreme Trials and in particular the Kamoi mounts, the dog mounts that you get very rarely from the completion of them. I understand this is something that a lot of people already did back in Stormblood and that it's taken me quite some time to do this. I'm a bit late to the party, but you know, this is really the culmination of many, many hours of farming these trials with so many different people, be it in party finder groups and ultimately until recently I didn't have a group of people set to do them with until obviously now with the FC grown to the size it is, but times change and here we are, finally. I got my friends to line up here with all of the dogs for you so that you can see what they all look like and we can talk about each one individually and where it's from and share the final quest together after this with the result of that big fella in the middle there. So starting left to right we have the Reveling Kamoi. This is a drop from Susano Extreme. Susano is definitely one of the easiest of the bosses on the list. And you can unsync this with a fairly low IQ party with very few mechanics that will pose you many issues. Apart from, you know, a tank pressing a button and tapping their keyboard. That's pretty much it. It's quite easy to farm and would be a great place to start out in my opinion if you decide to farm these extremes. Second in then, as you can see, is the Euphonymous Kamoi. This is actually from Suzaku Extreme. Suzaku is one of the last ones added in the actual trial series for Stormblood and it's actually not too bad to farm. You'd think it'd be a lot harder. It has a few things to consider in the fight that could end up wiping you. The feathers and phoenixes for one of them and there's sort of like a dance dance revolution style minigame halfway through that make it a hugely entertaining fight to do with friends, especially on voice comms. And it's a lot of fun, but when you learn it, it becomes very simple indeed. But I would say, put this one towards the middle of the pack. It's not the hardest, but it's not the easiest either to execute. There's a bit of learning involved. Third in then, I'm demonstrating on my character the Auspicious Kamoi. This is from Bayako Extreme. Bayako is a ton of fun. It's actually a wonderful uh, boss with a great transition scene, if you've never seen that before. I would say this is one of the easier ones to farm at level 80 unsynced. Um, it just dies very quickly indeed. There's very little that can go wrong. Probably just, I guess, dying to things you've never seen before, like on the transition, but that's about it. Fourth here is the Green Doggo. This is the legendary Kamoi. This is actually from Shinryu Extreme, which has an awful drop rate, I will just tell you here and now. It's a fairly fantastic fight if you've never done Shinryu on Extreme, matched only by its incredible soundtrack. And of course, all of these dogs have the individual soundtrack of all of the Extreme Trials, which is obviously another reason you might want to collect them. And if you've never got the chance to experience Shinryu Extreme before, it's certainly something I would advise you do. It's really intimidating when you see him, but it's actually really simple to unsync, with only really a couple of ways you can get it wrong and the learning curve is very basic indeed, uh, especially on Synced. If you were to minimum item level this, it's probably one of the, the hardest and most exciting bosses in the game to play. Fifth doggo then, past the big boy in the middle, is the Hallowed Kamoi. This is from Sayu, the Reef of Snakes Extreme. This unsynced at level 80 only really has one major thing, and that's your tank knowing when to taunt from the other tank. Or if you're only using one tank and soloing this to have more DPS in your party, then they need to have an immunity for that second hit. Match that with some basic AoE dodging and being in the right place at the right time so you can get knocked back by the snakes. And Snakey Boy isn't too bad, and I personally love the colour of this one. It kind of looks like a, a gas burner when you arrange multiple in a circle, as we demonstrated in this picture for lols. Sixth dog who then is the Blissful Kamoi. This is from Lakshmi Extreme, a frankly fantastic fight, but a very easy one. Remembering to use the on-screen action button to not get blown off the platform is the only real way that you can fail hard at this fight. Dodging basic AoEs and nuking the boss makes it nice and simple. I would probably prioritize this along with Susano for your first extremes to try out to farm if it was me personally, and in fact, that's what we did in our group. 
And finally then on the end here is the beautiful purple doggo. This is the Luna Kamoi, dropped from Sukiyomi Extreme. This is one of the harder fights to figure out and honestly it relies on a lot of individual player attention to the screen. So if you want to start off farming these, either start with this one to get the most tricky out of the way first, or start with the easiest with Susano or Lakshmi. It's, uh, yeah, it's going to take you a while to probably get this one, but I don't know. If you aim for the hardest first, I think Tsukiyomi is the best bet. So that's all seven doggos. Now, the seven Kamoi has a legend associated with it. So let's go to Kagane and do this short quest together. That would be fun. Okay, here we are in Kagane, beautiful sunny Kagane, back in Stormblood, and we're actually pretty near to the Etherite and just across from the uh, whole street there, over there, Etherite's just a little bit that way, and there's an NPC, the Newshawker, you will find, if you've got all of the uh, seven Kamwe dog mounts, just next to the Uminiko Tea House will be the new, uh, the Newshawker will have a lone wolf no more, we'll see here, here's all seven of them. As you can see here, this is how many you need to have before this will appear. And then let's read through this quest and do it together. So it says, a lone wolf no more. The reward is, of course, the fabled Kamoi Fife. It says, the news hawker is displaying a worrying degree of interest in you. Good day. This may seem rather out of the blue, but are you by any chance the Kamoi Whisperer? I don't know. Do I whisper to dogs? That sounds a bit like me, or I don't know who you are, and you're scaring me. That looks like something I would say. Yes. Aha, come now, you have nothing to fear from me. I am but a simple messenger. Yes, I don't trust anybody who says they're just a messenger. You see, I've been asked to find the one who has tamed the seven Kamoi of legend. If the information I received is accurate, I believe my search has come to an end. Should I locate the Kamoi Whisperer, I am direct said personal to Namai, where a bard dressed in crimson robes awaits. If you are indeed who I think you are, I'm sure the trip will be worth your while. Well, there we go then. So we've got to go to Namai. If you look where Namai is, that's uh, in Arthard, obviously. And uh, that's over in Yangsha in the southern part. So we can actually teleport straight to Namai and walk over there. So let's, let's literally do just that then. I'm quite excited to see... Um, Oh, yeah, I'm just excited to see what happens in this. The pony one was the last one I remember. I know I did the bird one, but it wasn't quite as memorable. Oh, wow, yes. I do like the far eastern parts of, uh, of Final Fantasy, for sure. Hello, Wandering Minstrel. What are we looking at? That's a nice view, actually. Look at that. He's staring up there. And the mysterious clouds. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Oh, straight into the cutscene. Hello there, Mr. Mr. Min Min Minstrel. How are you doing? I've been expecting you, Mioni. My prediction that you would indeed be the one to gather the seven Kamoi has much to my delight been proven correct. After all, tis not the first time you have managed a feat of this nature. Well, I guess we did do quite a few bits before. I mean, we've, we've nearly got all the dragons as well. We just need Hades, Mr. Minstrel. You know, I'm working hard on my mounts. It wasn't my original goal, but we're working towards them just a, just a quick nod try and fit all that in one sentence you have formed an unbreakable bond with these mystical hounds but what you may not know is there is another said to surpass them all majestic and fearsome to behold do you have any inkling of whom i speak uh could it be the one i showed in the video footage earlier just had a, a slight guess no why, tis none other than the Kamoi of the Nine Tails, an auspice said to have once soared across the skies of Duma. Many believe it to be a mortal, able to overcome death itself, yet doomed to witness all it has come to cherish, wither and fade from existence. Well, that's sad, isn't it? That's a bit of a grim life. It howls echo, echo through the valleys as it searches for the one it considers to be its equal, but it may find a companion with whom to share eternity. While I cannot comment on your longevity, I dare say you otherwise possess the necessary credentials to be granted an audience. How do you know I don't live forever? I have an echo of my own. All that remains is to play this fife to summon a beast. You need not concern yourself with where I procured such an item, only that the Kamoi of the Nine Tails will heed its call should you be judged worthy. So, 
I will ask where you got this, Fife, and that's a good question, really. Is this something you just have access to? So what say you, my friend? Will you place your trust in me and embark on this quest to befriend a divine being? Naturally, I'll be close on hand to observe. As I have in the past, I could not possibly miss the opportunity to bask in such a glorious spectacle. Splendid. Fortunately, I already have a, a, a certain, a suitable location not far from here, where a view of one river should provide the perfect backdrop. Once you arrive, take the fife in hand and let your soul pour forth as melody. Try not to let the fact that a professional musician is paying extremely close attention to your every note you pull off. I am sure it will be an unforgettable performance. Bit of fourth wall breaking there, but that's fine. I do, I do look forward to some professional music. Oh, do we bow back? Oh, we don't bow back? Well, that's a bit rude. Hmm. We are getting a mount out of this, Miani. So let's have a look over here then. So it's over to the other side. And we'll just fly over there quickly. See you there. All right, then. We're here on this beautiful hilltop. The glittering basin. Looking on to the destroyed wall there. And I believe the one river. There it is. Beautiful scene there. Slightly foggy today, but... You know, it is what it is, and we have to blow the fife of the nine tails, so let's do exactly that. A fantastical flute, it said. I'm looking forward to seeing this cutscene. It's been many, many years. <sighs> ah, that is so beautiful, isn't it? I wish we could have housing here, to be honest. Oh, look, there's all my doggos. Oh, yeah, there's all seven. How you doing, fellas? How you doing? It was a long journey, wasn't it? I'm glad you enjoyed it as much as I did. <laughs> woof woof. Ah, yes. Oh, here we go. Oh. Appear, my fellow. Oh, there he is. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, that looks so cool. Yeah, I'm shocked too. Wow, that is beautiful. That's thumbnail worthy, I think. Such radiance, such magnificence, the camoy of the nine tails, most revered of its kind, is come. Sure is. Look at that. That is beautiful. Oh, wow. Oh, hey, wandering minstrel. How's it going? Its days of wandering alone across the realm have come to an end. Indeed, you have earned your place alongside this divine being, my friend. Well, thank you. I look forward to riding it around in AFK Angelot. Ah, to witness the warrior of light joined by the camoy of the nine tails and its brethren before my very eyes. Tis a moment that must be preserved in verse for future generations. <clears throat> oh no, please don't sing. Trailed by tales of nine, soaring across moonlit sky, restless traveler, summoned home by hero's call, kindred soul, adventurer. Okay, you, you can you can clap now. Clap. You can all clap now in the comments section. That beautiful reading there by the wandering minstrel. Truly is quite intimidating, isn't it? It looks like it's going to eat you. Yeah, I thought I'd take a screenshot of that once we're here. Yes, yes. I think I shall name this piece A Lone Wolf No More. It shall serve as testament to the friendship between two great beings favoured by the gods. I mean, yes, yes. Are you are you Namazu now? That would explain a lot, Mr. Minstrel. That you were able to re earn the respect of such heavenly creatures fills me with awe. You certainly seem to have a talent for it. Well, two years of grinding with lots of people in pugs. My retelling of today's events is sure to enrapture souls the world over, and perhaps they too will one day be fortunate enough to glimpse the two of you racing across the sky farewell hero farewell mr minstrel see you uh see you in, in shadowbringers when the final dragons get added i've already got a few of those looking forward to getting them the rest of them for sure look at you where do we go from here mr fiery boy ah oh, mr nine tails there it is so there we go two years of Complete grind with lots of people and lots of terrible RNG, and we're finally here. I think we get a title for this as well, don't we? Let's have a quick look at that. Yes, we get Flute of the Plume. 
as an achievement there. And that gives us, if the data wants to load, the Kyubi Tamer. So I'd be Mioni Whitetail, Kyubi Tamer. Oh yes, that's quite a nice title. Not as good as um, some of the other ones I've got, but uh, yes. Where is it in my junk inventory? I didn't realize that I've nearly got a full inventory. I wonder what would have happened if I couldn't have looted that. That would have been, um, that would have been not good. So we're going to have this thing. Let's have a walk around on this and do the usual bits. I always like to share my first ever flight on this. Oh, yes. Now this is a mount, my friends. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. And it has the Stormblood theme. Like the intro music as a flight music. Oh, that's so good. Oh, wow. You have no idea how many times I've seen people on this and just gone... I need it, I need it, I need it. I know it's kind of like, you know, a reskin of Fenrir, kind of. It's also been shared with a Fox Fate boss. It's been used in many places, but to have it... Oh man, I'm so happy. I'm so happy to finally have this. I personally pr probably prefer the individual dogs a lot more than the final reward, but that's just my bad taste, probably. But look at this thing go, it's so nice. Ah. Oh. It's such relief to finally get this. I had such a good weekend. It was so much fun. Very, 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 very excited to see what the uh, the final dragon mount will be from the um, from the dragons in uh, in Shadowbringers. I've got nearly all of them. I just need uh, the Hades one and then whatever they add in the future as well. But it looks this looks absolutely stellar. So what we're going to do now then is we're going to read its text. And, uh, you know, pan around it for a few seconds as well. And the usual video-y stuff. Summon Kamoi of the Nine Tails, legendary auspice, completely independent from Kayubi of the Nine Tails. Only an individual who has proven his worth by taming no less than seven Kamoi might summon this fabled Lorpine auspice from her burrow in the heavens. Despite obvious similarities to the other Vulpine Auspice, Kayubi of the Nine Tails, this ageless vixen has her own storied history, which is sadly too long to list here. The hidden text reads, Most revered among the Kamoi, Kayubi is come, a quote there of a wandering minstrel. So yes, I am personally over the moon to finally get my hands on this. It's the send-off from Stormblood that I wish I could have had back when the fights were relevant in 4.0. But thankfully now I have a static and my own FC. This should actually be something that I see during current content in Shadowbringers with the dragons, like I say. I'm very excited for that. And indeed, all of the new trials we should get to see before the 5.0 adventure is over. We have plenty of trials to come. And yeah, 5.3 is just, you know, the small little hill on, 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 the, on the horizon there. It's not too far away, but there's lots of content to come to the game after that as well. And we should see probably about three more trials, maybe four more trials before 5.0 is over. So get hyped for that. I think the Ninetales is a great looking mount, in my opinion, with a lot of prestige floating around this. It's something that when you see it, you go, wow, that person has put a lot of time into farming for these things. And indeed, like I say, pretty much two years of grind in RNG is, is what it leads to. Bear in mind that many of the trials that are involved in this grind are regularly pugged and that you need only check the party finder yourself to see them posted quite regularly. Don't feel ashamed of, oh, I don't know the tactics, let's not go in there. Just do it. Learn the fight. It's very simple and just burn them down and you'll have them out in no time. Or failing that, come over to Ragnarok's server on Chaos Data Center and join my FC. Grab a few people together here and do it as a team and make some friends along the way. That's what we're all about. It's an open FC, and we have an open Discord that you'll find a link to in the description of every video that you can come and join. Give yourself a viewer rank, and if you fancy it, come over to Ragnarok and join us. Thank you so much for watching this video. It's been an exciting journey that I wanted to share with you, and I knew that eventually I would get there. Now it's just uh, a fact of helping the rest of my friends get the last couple of dogs they need, and we'll be able to line up in front of the FC house with many nine tail mounts. That would look pretty cool, and I can't wait. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you all next time.